Hey guys, Ryan coming to you here uh, live at PWI today. Uh, snowy, blizzardy day here outside, and you know, just help me realize again why we built this new after paint assembly plant. We can actually bring stuff inside the building after paint. And I want to show you a little bit what's going on today at PWI and what we're doing here. Haven't really showed you any finished product in here at all, uh, but I want to show that to you here as well. Here's the paint booth. I've just got done running a, uh, a booth run of white product here, and. Uh, Kind of a light booth run there, but that's kind of a typical scenario. There's a steroid, some other items that we're running in there. White's not very, very common for us, but we do that occasionally uh, for custom orders for customers. Coming over here, guys, we have uh, the after paint assembly plant, and a lot of things I want to show you, current projects going on that are kind of interesting. This uh, curved monorail job here, it goes to Arizona, and um, it's uh, a lot of other products that are going with that job are over here. So some long monorail beams there. We're curving uh, around around some some specialized uh, uh, curves for the customer there, uh, special ordered that way. Uh, over this direction here, uh, we have some finished fall protection trusses here going to a customer here. This is our standard enclosed track fall protection systems, and it's actually upside down there in in uh, in the paint situation here. Here we have a, a custom stairway here. We got a, a number of ultralight cranes that just came out of paint. We walk down this way here, there's some structural items here for mezzanine components, some gates that are here. These columns are pretty interesting here. These are freestanding columns supporting a, a custom system there, uh, pretty neat. And uh, these, uh, the beam will actually be supported by this here uh, offset column there, pretty neat. Here's a little more of that uh, curved monorail here. A real S-curve going on in here. Pretty, pretty neat deal, so excited about putting that together here for the customer and uh, getting getting that delivered here later this week. Here we have some more ultralights uh, getting pre-assembled for, for, uh, for, for uh, the customer. Maybe assembled by our crew or possibly by the customer himself as well, depending on where it gets shipped to in the country. Over this direction here, we have two bridge cranes. These are going somewhere in the country. I can't even tell you where these go, actually. Uh, I don't believe these are local but we have a five ton uh, bridge crane, probably about a 40 foot span, 45 foot span, and uh, getting ready to get a hoist put on here. This one here, I believe might be a, uh, a wire rope hoist, just, as, just, just like this one here as well, which is an SMW series five ton capacity wire rope hoist. Oh, down here we have uh, items getting ready to ship here. Here's a five ton, a shorter span, five ton bridge crane featuring a, a Stark five ton chain hoist in this case. And that's a great uh, option for uh, lower use at times, a lower lower lifting speed, lower lifting speed, I should say. And uh, just that's delivering to a job site, I believe, locally here uh, in the morning. So that's what we got going on there, guys. Last thing I want to show you here, or one of the last ones I want to show you, is a, actually a, a big system we're, we're actually pre-assembling here. Generally, everything that you see in this plant is already painted and ready for shipment, and all we're doing is the final, the final finish work. But in this case, we're actually mocking this up in real life, an 80-foot runway st structure system with a custom electrolift hoist and a four-point lifting system here that's completely designed uh, by our engineers here. Uh, pretty proud of what they've done here, but it's a, a rotational mold situation here. It's got four electrolift lifting hoist here, four-point lifting hoist. Kind of get an idea of what that looks like up there. Uh, pretty, pretty nice operation there. And uh, yeah, as we walk this direction here, we have our shipping area here and our packaging area and uh, just wrapping up the day here. Most of the crew is gone for the day. Uh, wanted to walk you through here before it's, or after it's uh, so loud and noisy in here. So we got a couple trailer loads ready to ship out tomorrow morning there. Here's a VRC for a, or a freight elevator, as some people call it, shipping to a customer tomorrow. We have another custom structure there shipping. We have uh, some frame rotator units being final assembled here in that area over there. And uh, pretty excited about what's going on here and, uh, and what's happening here at PWI this week. So yeah, thanks for the little tour. Again, back to square one, just thankful for a warm building out of the snow. And that was the entire purpose here of uh, shipping on time every time. And uh, it's a lot nicer than if this was a parking lot here and we'd be loading this stuff in the snow today. So thank you, have a great day.